Oh my gosh, look over there. We're gonna go to that aisle real quick. We're gonna skip an aisle. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well, we are here today in Shillington, Pennsylvania, once again at the ginormous Goodwill. And we're gonna head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, well, they are currently stocking, which is so exciting. Uh, we're gonna jump right into it and see what we can find. This is kind of a neat mug. I love the fish on that. <laughs> I don't know if that would be 1980s or 90s. Oh. Somebody put their slime in there, it looks like. Uh, you know what? We're gonna leave it since that's just the first thing we've spotted and let's go check out the shelves. Nope. That looks like a lid. It's definitely um, Wedgwood. Maybe we'll find the rest of it. So I'm gonna carry this around with me until I hopefully find the rest of it. That's a pretty little box. $2.99. I'd say uh, the painting on it is probably a little bit more contemporary, but I feel like I can make a little bit of money on that just because it's pretty and floral. Over here, this I believe is, um, I've seen them before with the original label. I can't remember if they're sold at Home Goods or where they're sold, but they've got $2.99 on this. I mean, that's probably $25 to $35. It's not Murano, obviously. It has a Made in China sticker on the bottom, but well, it's a pretty glass vase. It's a really cute kitty mug. I wonder who makes that one. There are a bunch of chips on the bottom of it, though, so I don't think I'm going to even bother to peel the sticker and take a closer look. That's kind of a fun lamp, but it looks like somebody painted the weaving on it. It's a lampshade. I like the pattern on that. Um, it's marked on the bottom, interiors, ivory, porcelain. I don't know. All right, the yellow section was really good to us the last time, but I don't think today is gonna be our day. Here's a neat old ice bucket. It does have some, oh look, look at that. There's a giant shamrock on it. It's $3.99. Um, it does need to be cleaned up. <laughs> you know what? That's great for St. Patrick's Day. Three leaf clover. Okay. There's a little resin figurine. <laughs> I would think $8 to $12 on that. It said $2.99. They have it marked. There is a painted plate underneath here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't usually see them in that size. Usually they're a lot smaller. Here, I'm going to set these down here. Um, I can't remember if that's Westmoreland or not. That's really big. It's for 99 That's a nice decorative plate. Those are pretty glasses. I love the color on those. Um, I'm not going to pull out my black light and test them right now, but they look like they have potential. Wow. Oh, look at that goofus plate down there. It's got birds on it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. $2.99. I don't usually pick up goofus glass because it doesn't do tremendously well, but occasionally I'll pick it up when it's uh, something I've never seen before. For instance, this one has birds. Normally they, they have fruit on them, but you can see the reverse painting is usually pretty worn on them. Um, $2.99 for this. I'm only to grab it and take a shot on it. I think the least it'll bring is $8. You know, so that makes me a, a dollar or two. Hopefully it does better than that. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, look. I almost walked right by these little guys. Um, I don't know. I don't think that these are Hummels. I think that they are the reproductions of Hummels. Yeah, these are Napco. They're made to look like little Hummels. Surprisingly though, there isn't any damage on them and they're $2.99 a piece. There's some more over here. I think those would be worth picking up. Um, our Hummels on average sell between $25 and $35. 
And those ones are very cute, even though they're Napco. So let's pick those up. This bowl is also very pretty. Made in Taiwan. I guess I just like the foot on that and the colors. Oh my gosh, look over there. We're gonna go to that aisle real quick. We're gonna skip an aisle. This is so pretty. Is there something wrong with it? Is that why the lid is half off? Let's check. What's wrong with it? <gasps> nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, I try to check out the bottom. I think I have to do it with both hands though. Oh, there's new markings on the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? I don't think we can leave that behind. Alright, let's check the rest of this shelf over here. That's made in China. I like the luster on that. That definitely caught my attention <laughs> as I was going for that other piece. I'm going to go this way because there is a uh, confetti bowl here. It looks kind of like Texas wear, but this might be one of the Rachel Ray versions of that. It's $3.99. Oh, this is Zach design. I can see it there now. It's on the bottom. Eh, I don't know. This is, what is this? Made in Taiwan. I think they, uh, oh, it was a sticker. I was gonna say they printed that kind of weird, but I think it's a sticker that's gotten all folded up. This up here, James Sadler. What is that? James Sadler, Characters of Britain, Police Man, $2.99. Well, that's worth at least 12 bucks. And it's in good condition. I don't see any breaks on it, so I'll give that a shot. There is a candlestick in there. Oh, it looks like it's broken. That's a shame. Oh my gosh, and it was signed on the bottom and everything. What a bummer. Has an S signature. Oh, that's a heartbreaker right there. Maybe we'll find it's matchy-match on the shelf and that'll make everything better. <laughs> it's helpful though. Oh look, this Robinson Rams bottom is still here. You know, I picked up the, um, the Apple one the other day and it had me reminiscing about this one and I think I'm just going to grab this for $3.99 because I had a moment of regret. I wanted to go back and check this out. I forgot to turn this over and see. I don't know, made in Italy, fruit bowl. That is an enormous fruit bowl. It's $4.99. Yeah, I'll pass on it. This is a shame that that's all broken. Alright, so I'm going to try to sneak through here. Excuse me. Alright. Now let's check out this side. It's just kind of piled up. Um, my eye definitely goes to this, but I think that this is contemporary. And then over here, these polka dots are just stickers that are stuck on there. It's not actually gold polka dots. Nope. These are interesting. Those are candlestick holders. $1.99 and $1.99. Um, I don't see any markings as to who made them, but if I was to put those in my eBay shop, I'd probably price them between $18 and $24. Might would be a buy it now. Let's look down here because, ooh, maybe. <laughs> I like these. What are they? Are they um, placemats, I wonder? I'm thinking they're probably placemats. There's a set of four of them. I passed these up once and I had a viewer tell me I made a mistake. So now I'm like, well, do I want to make the same mistake again or should I just grab them? They're very great for spring and I like the botanical look to them. Ellen Blonder. All right. I like these. These are likely made in Mexico, these goblets. Did I look at those when I was on the other side? I think those are actually plastic. They're not even glass. What is this? Oh, code 38. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> it's got a shell painted on it. Oh, look. If Dagny was here, she would pick that up. She was doing something else today. I did invite her. Happiness is homemade. $1.99. 
These are metal. They are not um, glass. So this is the aisle I skipped <laughs> somewhat. And uh, we definitely need to come back and check it out. That dog does not have, you know what, the dog does have eyeballs. It's just covered in dust. I kind of like this sign, Welcome Spring. It's probably one of those made to look primitive. I mean, that would look really cute hanging on a door. I think I'm gonna leave it though. Somebody will come in and buy that for their spring decor. That, no, it's not a lazy, I thought it was maybe a lazy Susan. And that set over there is still sitting over there. It definitely needs one. There's a, some pilgrims and a turkey. I know Blanco makes some like this, but I don't think that this is one of them. What's up here? Candlestick holder has a giant crack. This looks like one of those uh, glued together garden pieces. There's a plate on the other side that actually matches that. <laughs> what is this? This is dishwasher safe made in China. And look at those pretty ladies. What's wrong with them though? That's what I have to ask. What is wrong with you? They're $4.99. They're probably contemporary. I mean, but I look at this and I think, you know what? Probably get upwards of twenty dollars for that. I did notice there is a little chip on that one. This one is in better condition. Um, they are very pretty. They have a contemporary made in China sticker on the bottom, hiding under uh, the Goodwill sticker. I just love how delicate the face is painted. I don't know. <laughs> Four ninety nine. I know I can make a little bit of money on those. I just don't know how much. I think that's why I'm debating it so hard. Yeah, we'll grab them. As I was sticking those into my cart, I noticed the Russell Wright down here. This is Russell Wright there. Um, but as to be expected um, with Russell Wright, there's uh, cracks, there's a giant chip. It's got some condition issues. I like the little dots on that. Uh, this is a daisy and button. Clear though, I don't really want to grab it. Oh, this is Fox. Oh, it has, has a giant crack. Julia Davy. That's a shame that that's damaged. I almost wonder if that was a butter dish and missing its lid. All right, so here we are in the red section. I'm not sure why I didn't do this one sooner. Look, there is another... Uh, <laughs> Another cross stitch. This one is personalized. Glowski, 1984 was when this one was made. I love the primitive look to it. But I think that's got a very, very small market when you have somebody's last name on it like that. What is this? This is a Schmid music box. I wonder what it goes to. Those are kind of pretty with the hand painted enamel. I think they've got a little bit of age to them. $3.99. I don't know if those would be little dessert dishes or what those purpose of those are. Oh look, there's two of there's two stacks of them actually. Hmm. I wonder if they're heisy. Since there's six of them, I might actually consider that. $3.99. The gold is kind of worn on them. But they're dainty. The wearing is to be expected with the age. I think um, we'll pick those up. Well, I've spotted some more Goofus glass, but this one is a white opalescent with a crimped edge. Ooh-wee, look at that. There's a little bit of chipping on the legs, but it's not terribly damaged. A lot of the times these uh, crimped pieces, an entire crimp will usually be broken off or something like that. We only have $2.99 on that and I think I think we'll definitely pick that one up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, be careful. The reason I even looked over here is because I noticed the stangle. Um, this is a tidbit tray though. You can see the little hole on the bottom and it's missing its little handle. 
Let's check that out in the back and see if that's sterling. And it looks like it might even be stainless. I always check these coasters because um, sometimes they are printed sterling. And uh, Andrew does scrap them normally. There's another one. Let's check it. Oh, look at that. It's sterling. <laughs> what are the chances? They've got $1.99 on it. Alright, that's fantastic. Although this one is kind of pretty, I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out later. I like that. That's just crazy. Alright, so that right there was a lesson in not neglecting the white and clear aisles because you just never know. There's another. <laughs> These angels are everywhere. Every goodwill I go to. Watching over me, I guess. What is this? This is a train of some sort. Missing its lid. And then down here. This was actually pretty cool looking. I noticed this when I was coming down the aisle. That's got, that's got to be like, what, 1950s, 1960s? It's marked on the bottom. What is it marked? Ideal Ironstone Wear, made in Japan, $3.99. <laughs> like, I don't know. This reminds me of those, um, those vintage cookbooks. Like, just looking at it, I can see, like, deviled eggs and all, like, you know, that really gross jello pudding. Like, that's, that's what I'm, I'm envisioning when I see this. <laughs> and I kind of like it. So, um, it's not going to be easy to ship, but it is a really cool piece. This plate down here, Shenango China. Kind of, I don't know, it's not really thick enough to be restaurant wear, but I like the pattern with the stars. A little bit atomic. Rest, birdhouse, it's a Ray Dunn birdhouse. Meh, how much is it? They have $2.99 on this. I figure I could at least get $20, unless it's one of those super rare, valuable. Oh, it's got a giant chip. Never mind, I think we're gonna leave it behind. <laughs> Oh goodness, some cordials. That looks like it could be Lefton. It is Lefton with its original sticker for $2.99. And I'm holding my thumb right over the damage as normal. Okay, well, this is the last aisle before we start completely over. Those are way lighter than I expected them to be when I picked them up. There is some chipping around the base. And then surprisingly, there's signatures on those. Although it does look like they have a mold seam. So I think maybe they're just made to look handmade. All right, well, let's start over. That was not here the first time we went down this aisle. It looks like, oh, I was gonna say it looks like a hobbyist piece. It's $3.99. <laughs> it's super cute. It's very kitschy. $3.99. Oh, I don't know. 2002. Made in China. I don't know. I, you know what? I think I'm going to grab this. Because obviously it's not something that you could find in the stores anymore. And it's very darling. I don't see any real damage to it. And I think it is terracotta. Wow, oh, that is black glass. But it's a single... There are some doggy mugs. Some are exclusive. I love that it's all a scene, but it doesn't look like they're actually stacked in order. I wonder how those would go. I think somebody else tried matching them up. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what those would be worth. Oh, they're pure one. Oh, there's another one in the back. That's what's missing. This guy's missing. That's the top of the Christmas tree. Um, I think those would be great for Christmas time. Somebody who loves puppy dogs. How much are they? They're $2.99 each. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 20. So, that would be like $24. My question is, would they be worth more than that? Hmm. Around Christmas time they might be, so I guess we'll uh, we'll give them a shot. But we'll probably hang on to them for a while. I just got done putting all of those in my cart and noticed that this one is damaged, and I think that just throws off the whole thing. So back on the shelf they go.
These ones I think are actually separate from those, so I might check those over first before I put them back in my cart, because now it seems to be this back and forth. I don't see any damage to those ones. So these are a scene in and of themselves. And I think um, we can still take at least those ones. On the other side of the shelf, I noticed these. Oh, they're damaged, of course. Bummer. And this. What is that even? Eh, it's got damage. That's kind of fun. <laughs> America's number one. It's a shame that there's damage on it. Like a hot dog. Yeah, if there wasn't that damage, I would probably pick that up, even though it is a hobbyist piece and I don't normally do that. Good Shepherd, first edition. Oh my goodness, can't touch this. <laughs> I feel it's cord made in China. I think that's for rings. And all the petals are in good condition. That is just adorable. Decorative per don't don't put your food on this. Oh my gosh. Yes, it's contemporary, but it's fantastic. And I'll always make exceptions for contemporary when it's fantastic like this. Okay, so I'm going to go up and down the aisles one last time. Uh, because, like I said, they are actively restocking. And we might still find something. I think I'm going to try the purple section one last time to see if we can find the rest of that Wedgwood. But it's not looking good. I think I may end up putting that back on the shelf. If it would be anywhere, I think it would be in purple. Unless it got moved. Alright. He's going back. Sorry, buddy. Good luck. I kind of like the handle on that coffee mug. A little worn though. That's kind of fancy. Bath and Body Works. And that was unexpected. That's weird. I would not expect that to be a Bath and Body Works thing. Here's another uh, leptin. This one is the green instead of the white. There's a little bit of um, paint chipping, but the ceramic doesn't look chipped on that. It was, it was so well during the holidays. Ugh, that looks vintage. That's chalkware and you can see all the damage on it. What is this regal looking fella? Goodness gracious. He looks kind of like a wolfhound. What's going on with the box though? The box is giving me weird vibes. Oh, there we go. Is it a stationary box? And who is this guy? Besides a cute puppy dog. That's so bizarre. It's $3.99. I don't even know what this is and I'm going to grab it. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm going to just shove it in here on top of that Chinese lady. Don't worry, everything will be alright. This is also really neat. It reminds me of, um, when I see this I think of the movie Groundhog Day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the alarm clock was similar to that. That's fun and vintage and I'm wondering if it works. $3.99. I don't usually buy electronics or any of this stuff. I have no idea what I would even do with this. Oh well I would sell it but um I don't know that's just really cool. It's nostalgia. This looks like one of those things. What is it called? Oh, stone casting. It's not what I was thinking it was. Look at that doll over there. Oh, we've already looked at him before. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I need a pelican. Oh my goodness, I just bought a set of these. $6.99. <laughs> I can't believe that. I think I spent 18 on the set that I bought. And I don't think they're listed or sold yet, so I don't know how much um, we could expect to get for those. But, you know, it's only $6.99. I feel like we can make a little bit of money on those. Woo. There we go. All right, I've spotted the Ray Dunn. I did not look at this entire row. And there is a Ray Dunn baby bird house. I think this one is a more contemporary one. Ray Dunn artisan collection. 
See, there was a sticker on there. It's only two ninety nine, as the, and I, as I mentioned with the last one, I would expect at least twenty five for that. Especially with everyone having spring on their minds, so maybe we can find some room for it in here. All right, um, so I did pick this up. This is uh, American Walnut. It's missing its little like handle thing, but I feel like you can really replace it with any hardware. So I'm not totally discouraged by it because it is walnut. Okay, well they are still restocking, but I think this is it for us. I really wanted to go check out the other Goodwill on my way home. And um, I, think, I think I got some good stuff today. So I will catch up with you guys in the car. All right, well my total spend today at the Goodwill was $137. I feel like we got some really great stuff. We kind of went all across the board. We got ice buckets. We got glass and pottery. Like the whole everything. Um, even dabbled in some figurines today. But I think we're going to do quite well with this stuff. And I'm excited to see how it sells. So I'm going to get out of here now. i got to stop at the gas station. And then I'm going to probably hit up the next Goodwill. But you guys are going to have to wait for that video. And I will see you then. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.